So let us study the identification of group 4. As you know, the group 4 reagents are ammonium chlorine, ammonium hydroxide, and hydrogen sulfate. The cations which we are going to identify are Mn2+, Zn2+, CO2+, and Ni2+. So let us see the reactions of Zn2+. For that, we will take, we will make the salt solution as usual. The salt solution is made in water and into that we will add the group reagents. The fourth group reagents are ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride is solid ammonium chloride we will add. This is ammonium chloride added. Then into that we will add ammonium hydroxide. Added. Into that we will add hydrogen sulfide solution. This is hydrogen sulfide. So that will be added. So during the addition of hydrogen sulfide, we are getting a white precipitate. This white precipitate shows the presence of Zn2+. So we are doing the confirmatory test for zinc ions. So for that, we need the salt solution and we need potassium chlorocyanate. So we will add what will happen before that we have to make it uh, the acid medium make it into the acid medium for that dilute HCl is added. So followed by potassium chlorocyanate. So when we are adding potassium chlorocyanate we will get a precipitate like this. This is a confirmatory test for Zn2 plus ions. We are doing yet another confirmatory test for Zn2 plus. For that, we have the crucible containing salt. We have added concentrated nitric acid and cobalt nitrate. I have a strip of filter paper. I will, when it is boiling, I will dip it and I will burn it. The solution is boiling. Into the boiling solution, you dip a filter paper and, and just burn it. Let us see the color of the ash. So this is the ash is ready and we are getting a green ash. This is a confirmatory test for Zn2+. So please remember, in the case of aluminium, we are getting blue ash. In the case of zinc, we are going to get, we got uh, green ash. Yet another cation is there in fourth group. It is nothing other than Mn2+. For the identification of Mn2+, first of all we have to do the group identification. The group reagents are ammonium chlorate, ammonium hydroxide and hydrogen sulfide. I added all the three reagents. I got a precipitate. It is called a flush colored precipitate. A flush colored precipitate is obtained that indicates the presence of Mn2+. Now we have the confirmatory test for Mn2+. So we will take the manganese ion and we will add sodium hydroxide in drops. Sodium hydroxide will be added in drops. So we will get a white precipitate gradually changing into light brown. So this is a confirmatory test for Mn2+. We have one more cation present in fourth group. It is nothing other than nickel, Ni. So we have got nickel chloride. I will use nickel chloride to show you the reactions of Ni2+. So let us see the reactions of Ni2+. First of all, we will do the group analysis. The group reagents are ammonium chlorine, ammonium hydroxide and hydrogen sulfide. So I added, I got a black precipitate that indicates the presence of Ni2+. So for that, we need the nickel salt solution. I made the nickel salt solution. Into that, I will add a few drops of ammonium hydroxide 
maybe light blue color will come and then into that I will add another reagent it is called dimethyl glyoxin it is DMG you will be studying the same thing in coordination compounds and I am going to add dimethyl glyoxin so we are going to get a rose red precipitate it's a beautiful color rose red precipitate is a thing I will show that clearly this is a rose red precipitate so this indicates the presence of Ni2 plus in the salts.